Morning. Morning. So I'm Jeffrey, and this is also Jeffrey. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Jeffrey. Yeah. So would you guys like to briefly introduce yourselves? Yeah, hi, I'm Dr. Jay Yang from the School of Biomedical Sciences. I'm a senior lecturer here. My name is Rocky. I'm also a teacher here at the School of Biomedical Sciences, teaching anatomy, albeit a, a less experienced than uh, Dr. Yang next to me, uh, who has been here for more than a decade. Well, yeah, yeah. Very long. Uh, we teach anatomy and histology to preclinical uh, curriculum. We are currently, should we say, um, pioneering <laughs> the virtual reality yeah. anatomy lab. Yeah. So we are using virtual reality technology to enrich our categorical based anatomy dissection education. So what's your opinion on the use of VR in anatomy teaching? Now I think we have a one value that will hold very dear as a very uh, classic anatomist. <laughs> we really believe in something that is Perfectly, reality is always better than virtual reality. <laughs> so virtual cannot beat reality. So that means to learn anatomy properly for a medical student, you have to go through the categorical based dissection experience. You have to learn human anatomy from real human body. This is not just the knowledge, the structure. It's also authentic experiences, the textile feelings, uh, explore layer by layer of human body. But m much more than that, you experience life firsthand. Professionalism, medical ethics, it's nothing can be taught. You have to learn through the activities, through this real human uh, life experience. So this is just more than life. So you have to learn life and death through an anatomy. But that being said, with all the perks and advantages for human dissection, well, some of the structures are very deep with the very complicated connections, even during dissection, sometimes they may miss the important structures, sometimes they may damage before they even see them. And some of the small structures, there are like other structures covering them, so it's quite ob obscure for them to actually see the in details of those uh, small structures. And it's kind of like an inherent limitations of uh, human specimens. Um, the visualization aspect is something that students or learners struggle with the most. With technology, hopefully that is one way, one way to, to tackle that or address that particular uh, challenge that you know, learners have been experiencing. The second one is just like we uh, demonstrated using the virtual reality. We can perform some relatively complicated uh, procedures. Even in real cadaver, in real uh, human specimen, it will be really hard to perform. But with virtual reality, uh, we can actually let the student know the structure first and then make sense of why the doctors, clinicians choose that approach, that direction. The third one is repetition. The more, the better, especially for anatomy. You want to reach that high level of learning, you have to have a very solid base. You have to have all the knowledge ready and then you can apply those knowledge. The obvious reasons we cannot open our dissection lab for the student to come 24-7 to operate on human body. But with virtual reality, very near future, we're going to uh, open a virtual reality anatomy lab. The idea is after their real human body dissection, there must be something that they want to revisit, and there must be something they probably may not be very sure about. So then they go back to virtual reality and revisit the same scenario in the virtual reality world so they can consolidate those anatomy knowledge. So I think it's the triple benefit for virtual reality. In Hong Kong U, we are the first university who can hold the virtual reality anatomy class for a large curriculum. We have more than 100 sets. We design the virtual reality tasks and virtual reality anatomy labs for the student. And we really put it in official curriculum in every system box. As I said, although we think reality is always better than the virtual reality, but Virtual reality can definitely enrich the learning experience and improve the learning experience of categorical-based dissection. In light of the current uh, distance learning situation, how have you adapted your teaching style to uh, kind of get students more engaged? This is the question of the year, <laughs> isn't it? Because you guys stuck at home and never seen each other for probably a very long time. So engagement and activity interaction is the key. We bring clinical cases, we have interaction with the quizzes, and we go through the questions that students may raise before and during uh, the inactive forums. Give the feedback, make sure that the key knowledge is conveyed, and then make sure they can apply those knowledge. I think it's the key. 
for medical education, or especially here in Hong Kong, you have been quite lucky because um, we have not been restricted to solely doing remote uh, teaching and learning. Practical has, has always been a um, quite well attended uh, yeah. because students uh, love actually seeing the, the, the real specimens as well as actually coming in to, you know, to, to learn with your friends. Our education is ever forward, so we take technologies such as virtual reality, such as digital platforms, and we put it into our teaching and education with anatomy, histology, and so on and so forth. We try to enhance the student learning experience. But that means we are very lucky because we start to infuse technology, integrate technology into our teaching way before COVID-19 hits. So <laughs> when COVID-19 hits, I would say we're very unlucky to have COVID-19, but we're pretty lucky because kind everything's of, prepared. Yeah, we're kind of ready for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. For, for us, yeah. um, to, to convert things remotely using technology, we're very familiar with it. We have all the uh, technological and pedagogical uh, things prepared. To, to, yeah. to transform our teaching onto the, the, the online platform. Yeah. Uh, so thank you, Dr. Yang and Mr. Chern, for sharing. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for your time, and we hope this gave you more insight into uh, how anatomy is taught here at HTE. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you thank for you the so opportunity. Much, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. And, thank you. Uh, yeah. Nice talking to you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Stay healthy. Yeah. <laughs>